Hey guys, Sam here. I just uh, debonded an AT. I didn't record the process because it's fairly straightforward, but I just wanted to talk real quick about maybe some tips or things that could help. So the way I did this one is I just had the rifle in a, a barrel vise and I had the action facing up. So what I did first was disassembled it. I think it's helpful if you, since it's getting so hot, I take the action rail off and with a roll pin punch, I knock out the bolt stop, which is just that little piece with the spring here. That way, I mean, it gets so hot. I don't know. I don't know if the spring would actually have any issues. Um, but the rail is aluminum and it gets pretty hot. <clears throat> so I just knock that out with a roll pin punch. You don't have to go all the way. You can see the little pin um, goes out that far. So that way, before you reassemble it, you can just punch it back in. If you do knock it all the way out, it might get a little bent, but you can reuse it. And then basically all I do is I just <clears throat> have a heat gun it probably took about 10 minutes of heating it, going all the way around, um, heating up the joint. And then I was able to just pry the chassis apart. And you can see this one, I mean, the glue, the epoxy all stayed right on the chassis itself. There's hardly any on the action. So I have my um, X-Acto knives that'll help scrape it like a flat one and then I have a little angled one because you'll want to clean out um, like the action screw holes there have some junk in there so I'll basically just go back with the heat gun and spot heat it up and scrape it off and then clean it with a degreaser or some isopropyl alcohol <clears throat> make sure it's super clean and then for the chassis you obviously can do whatever you want with it but you do need the four brass washers so you need to reuse those during the assembly with the obsession chassis because what that does is this isn't like a traditional bedding um, in that the washers control the distance between the action and the chassis they're about 31 thousandths thick so if you forgot to put those in during reassembly and you torque the action screws down, it would basically just squirt out until it was a thou thick. And the gun would probably function, but the magazine would then be sitting 30 thou higher than it should be. And I think you'll have all sorts of issues. So all I'm going to do now is cut these off and clean the washers best I can and reuse them. But you can see here what the epoxy looks like, the pattern. Now the ATs, I think, have more epoxy than you really need, but it's a good reference to save a picture when you disassemble it. Take a picture before you clean it all off and give yourself a good reference. So you can see like this one that's got the log all the way in front and or the, the front of the action face, I should say. And then the recoil lug area is like completely filled in. It's even got this relief. And then all along the side and here. But when you're doing it yourself, you know, you're not a tech that's done it a thousand times. So the more you do here, um, the more is going to squirt on the inside of the mag well. Same here, the more you're going to have to clean up. So it's just something to be mindful of. The other thing I forgot to mention is when I'm starting to heat this up, I'll, I do it with um, the mag well up, so the action screw is facing up like this. And then I'll heat it up a little bit for a minute or two, and then I'll loosen and remove the action screws first. So if you have it up like this, it's not like it's going to fall apart. It won't just fall on the ground. If you have it down, you know, it might. If you get it really hot, it could fall apart. But I pretty much had to just heat it up and then grab the chassis and pry it up. 
So if you do this with the action in a vise or with the chassis in a vise, just be mindful. It takes quite a bit of force, so you don't want to scratch your action up or anything like that. And uh, obviously if you do it and you forget to remove the action screws, it's not going to come apart. The other option you have, which I did with my AX, well, because it was Cerakoted and I, I didn't use a heat gun, I was using a propane torch, which you don't really need to do, is you can literally take the action and the chassis bonded together and put it in your kitchen oven at 250 degrees. At least that's what I did with the AX, which is all Cerakoted. The Cerakote cure temperature is like 250 or 300F, so it was safe. So I put it in my oven at 250F for an hour, and I took it apart, and it literally fell apart. But to be honest, the epoxy didn't come out clean like this. It was in chunks, and it was a little more dried. So this actually, to be honest, worked better. It just was longer manual labor. You know, it took 10-15 minutes of heating it and testing it and taking all the stuff apart versus just throwing it in the oven, but... To be honest, this worked really well. And I would probably say, if you're taking your buttstock off and reusing it, you could do it with the gun together with the barrel and the vise and take off the stock first. Or you could take it apart like this, and then you could you know, wrap the chassis in some tape and really clamp it down on your bench so you could hammer this off and heat this up independent of the action. So it's kind of, you know, dealer's choice, whatever you want to do. But basically that's what it looks like. So I'll clean this off, take the washers. I don't really need to clean it perfect because I'm never going to reuse this chassis. And then I'm going to clean off everything here, make sure it's nice and spotless. And then I'll um, put the action rail back on, which I believe is... 35 inch pounds for the four action screws and then I'll just put this uh, bolt stop back in and punch that pin back and then we'll be good to go and then obviously I I did remove the quick lock screw all it is is a I think it's an m5 screw and it does have a little washer so basically I just unscrew it facing down it comes out with the washer and then I leave this free float so that way when I was heating it I could just do a half turn heat it heat it and then when I pried it I make sure it was um, bumped up against the shoulder so there you go obviously any questions just you can message me email me put a post on on sniper's hide whatever I'll help you out okay